Hey guys, Harsh Quince here. Uh, welcome back to the Platinum playthrough of Fallout 3. So last week we uh, escaped Vault 101 and got to Megaton. And I also recorded this already and the audio messed up so now I gotta re-record it. So the plan for this week is we are gonna go talk to some people in Megaton and um, make our way towards Senpenny Tower and get the unarmed bobblehead. So nothing too story driven this week, but um, pretty much we're going to talk to um, Moira and we're going to talk to some people in um, Moriarty Saloon. So I got to wait till morning. All right, it's morning time. Got something to sell? Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. It was a paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting until Dad left. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before. But none with a big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Um, what's this about radiation? So we're going to do this first because it's the easiest. Um, I won't actually be doing it in this video because I, I, I just don't feel like doing it right now. And I, it's mostly just exploring the uh, southeast part of the map. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books. But I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay, I'll get irradiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I, when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Um, so now I'm just going to go sell some stuff to her and buy some stuff. So I will see you back outside. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're back outside. Um, I sold a bunch of stuff. I bought mostly ammo, and then I bought some parts that I know you can pick up. But, um, you know, I just wanted to get them while I could. Um, so here's the ammo I bought. I bought some sniper ammo and some 556. Um, all right, so now we're going to go talk to Lucy West. Billy says not to talk to you. So, yeah, I, I went to go start editing the second video. And half the audio wasn't working. And then I went to go click on the uh, 
the original audio file and that was nowhere to be located on my computer. I'm not too mad about it. It's all right. But hey there. Not the uh, thing. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Work. Come on, work. Why don't you work? Stupid radio. Hey, Smoothskin, you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Um, let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? I hadn't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Um, I guess I'll ask this. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Um, if you know anyone else that can help, I'd appreciate it. I don't know if I can go back to that speech, but um, I'm going to save it just in case I can. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him too. Um, so yeah, we want to talk to Lucy West. A traveler, eh? Um, and Mr. Bird. Let's talk to Lucy. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Oh, so you want me to be a courier? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Um, I'm really not going to ask her too much. Like I said, this isn't too lore-friendly. Um, yeah, it's not really too vital. I just wanted the map marker for Arafu and to get the quest. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Right, let's talk to him. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool and makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map wait you're going to destroy the town no no I'm merely a recruiter you get to have the real fun the undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive all it needs is a little motivation I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Um. Uh, let's just do this one, because I don't know if we can go back and do it, but maybe we can get this to pass. Is that the best you can do? I'm afraid I'm not impressed. Alright, um, we'll go alright, Mr. Burke. I'll do it. Megaton will burn. Excellent. I have a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, 
Meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? No questions. It's time for me to go. Don't let me keep you. So, like I said last week, we're keeping that... Um, we're not killing him or, you know... Uh, saving the hey town. Glad oh you're God, back. There's so many people. We're not saving the town right away just because... Um, I want to use that to get the evil karma trophy for level 8. Um... I don't think my repair is high enough, so I'm not going to go talk to Walter. I think we've done everything I want to do in Megaton for now. So now we're going to go on our walk to Tenfany Tower. Um, we're going to hit up, I think, Fort Constantine. I'm not 100% sure if that's what it's called, but um, it's like around here. So we're going to hit that up, and then the Robco, and then Tenfany Tower. Um, we're not going to explore too much southwest or southeast or no southwest, but um, You know, I just want to get the map markers uh, get to level three Find uh, Rockopolis Because I think that's a cool little hiding spot and I want the unarmed bobblehead and there's some skill books along the way so um, Yeah, really this is just about the journey um, Thirsty I don't even want to talk to them right now. I don't really have anything Mario else to trade. Uh, we're going to get the sniper rifle now. And you guys are going to see how either good or bad I am at combat in this game. Last week I shot like shit. So I wonder how it will be this week. Um, hopefully I can improve. But if not, then maybe I should just accept that I'm not the best at this. bugging out. Oh. oh fuck. Come on. Alright, that's it. Keep eating you. Oh my god. Where's that dog at? I don't pick up uh, the mole wrap meat because I don't really use it that much. Where the hell did that dog go? I see he's just chilling back there. I'm not going to go hunting for him, but it's so weird. Alright, here's the rock. I'll show you after I kill this guy. So, what happened was when I had I had to go back to. Um, luckily, there's that um, the save right before you leave the vault. So I just used that, and I went through Springville, and I got that locker last week that was empty. I actually had stuff in it when I respawned, so that was good. It wasn't anything too special, but um, I took it. I also did not get a cherry bomb from the mailbox. So let's read this note. As requested, S, here's that stuff you wanted. If anyone asks where you got it, say it was a gift from your grandma. Happy hunting, E. So that's good. Um, you know, I always like getting a sniper. T I tend to build characters that are more um, stealth sniper-like just because I like playing that way. Um, it may be boring later on, and bats can be overpowered, but uh, that's how I always do it. I always just get the Chinese stealth suit, and I think the perforator is what it's called, and just go through and sneak up. And, I'll, and then on Super Mutants, I sometimes uh, put frag grenades in their back pockets just because this is on PS3, and you can't have... Um, uh, what's the mod called where you can just throw grenades like in Fallout 4. 
I don't remember, but um, yeah, I just keep those around and then I sell frag mines and stuff. So now we're just going to walk along. We're going to hit up that fort, uh, find the outcasts, and probably kill a bunch of bloatflies and mole rats and vicious dogs. Uh, we'll just go to the torso. So I do record this before the um, um, like the first couple videos come out Friday of this week. So this is recorded before that. I don't know how many people I'll get. To. Oh my god! I don't know how many people I'll get to watch them, but. If I missed anything in the first couple episodes, let me know. Um, I'll make sure to make a note of it. Um, but I generally probably won't. I might die soon. I might I'm gonna just take a stim pack. All right. I don't know. I just don't like picking up the animal meat. It's probably a waste, but because I like I drink the Nuka Cola. Oh, I'm gonna have to sit through the. Uh, Nuka Cola uh, tour. I don't like that quest that much. The finding all the quantum, it's just boring. But um, the uh, what was I trying to say? I don't know. So this journey will probably just be finding all that shit. Oh, yeah. The, uh, what I was saying was... Now, what I was saying was... That the... Um, the video that I'm recording now... The first couple videos will go up this Friday. Right now it's, um, Sunday. So the first couple videos will go up Friday. So any comments will not go towards this video just because when school starts, I will be kind of crazy, have a crazy schedule. So I want to be ahead on these. So that's why I'm doing it that way. So yeah, this series is just really supposed to help people want to go and maybe get platinum trophies or the Platinum Trophy for Fallout 3. I plan on doing this for Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas I don't know as well as I know Fallout 3, but I hope I can help out with that and try to make a easier kind of way of doing, getting them, doing them. All right, let's talk to this guy. Where are you going, man? Defender Rococo Rockfowl at your service. Gotta be careful out here, mister. Good to meet you, Rock. I hope you're on my side. Don't shoot at me or my friends. I think we'll get along just fine. Who are you people? We've got power armor and big guns, and we're the ones doing the talking right now. Usually that's all a person needs to know, and they stop asking questions. You going to stop asking questions now? Yeah, I guess, man. Yeah, see you. So yeah, there's nothing really too important here. I just know that there's some Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. All right, man. Um I just know that, you know, the raiders drop. I think I'll get a hunting rifle off one of these. Oh my god, I got no experience for any of that. All right, whatever. Um let's hope they at least yeah, there's a hunting rifle. Yep, I will take that. I don't want any of the other stuff. Um, probably... Yeah, I'll just take the ammo off of you. Um, let's go talk to this person so we can, uh... If you're going to get yourself killed out here... Jesus. You mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse sticking up our little patch of heaven. Thanks for the help. Who are you? Defender Anne-Marie Morgan with the outcasts. But all you need to know is that I've got a gun and a low tolerance for screwing around. Who are you people? We call ourselves the outcasts, and we collect technology. 
to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of Zeros, who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. The way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh at following orders, we're probably doing something right. You collect technology? How do I sign up? We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. Sounds good, I'm in. Okay. But first you'll have to talk with Protector Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Alright, I'll go talk to this guy. Um, yeah, there's nothing really too important in here. I really focus on the skill books more. Um, not too many unique items or weapons, but I'll get, like, the, uh, unique Chinese assault rifle. Alright, let's talk to Protector Kasdan. I'm Protector Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local, but Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So... Interested in collecting technology for us? I sure am, mister. I'll take the job. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. Uh, I don't have anything to give to him right now. Get a move on. Um, so yeah, I like to do that just because um, whenever I collect a laser pistol or something, I will bring it here because I don't really use laser pistols that much. Um, I may use a plasma rifle or a laser rifle later, but other than that, I'm not too worried about it. So, um, hopefully, I think last time I was doing this, when I found Robco, I got to level three. And so when we get to level three, we're gonna take the uh, later killer perk just because, oh fuck, just because I don't, really like any of the other perks. Jesus Christ. Um. Let's get down these hits. I don't really like any of the other early on perks. Um. And Lady Killer, you know, I really don't use the unique speech uh, dialogues that much. But, um, I guess the extra damage I'll take. I'm really not too worried about it. Our health's alright right now. There's Robco. Um, yeah, so like I said, this episode we're gonna find Rockopolis, talk to, um, Herbert Daring Dashwood. Oh, there's some dogs. Um, I don't know if I talked, I don't think I talked about it last week, but I do prefer Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 3 just because it does feel more RPG, but I, I have more hours in, uh, Fallout 3, so I kind of am biased towards it, but it just it becomes so formulaic whenever I play, um, Fallout 3 compared to New Vegas. Um, and I do think Fallout 3 is good. I'm not gonna, I know some people don't, but, you know, I, I'm indifferent and I'm biased, but I enjoy playing it. It's not one of those things that I can invest, um, multiple playthroughs into, and, um, fast travel, you've discovered several locations, you can fast travel back to discover locations using the world map in your pit boy I don't know why that pops up, you can do that beforehand. Um, yeah, but I like Fallout 3 just because it's, it's fun. You know, it's fun to explore the world. Oh, shit. Is that Leo? 